Terry Lynn Land is running for re-election. She's a Republican from Michigan, and she's in a tight race right now. So she wanted to joke about the war on women issue, and she released this ad. I'm Terry Lynn Land. Congressman Gary Peters and his buddies want you to believe I'm waging a war on women. Really? Think about that for a moment. I'm Terry Lynn Land, and I approve this message because as a woman, I might know a little bit more about women than Gary Peters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, a woman against women? That would be ridiculous. I mean, that's like a black guy against other black guys, like Clarence Thomas against other black guys, or Herman Cain against other black guys, or Alan Keyes against other black guys. Oh, right, that does exist. Now. Uh, is it enough for me to just say that and call it a day and say we win, she's silly for mocking the idea of the war on women? No, of course. Let me give you some more facts. In 2010, Land was giving a speech, and she said the following, quote, Well, we all like to be paid more, and that's great, but the reality is that women have a different lifestyle, and they're more interested in flexibility in a job than pay. In other words, she's saying, yeah, equal pay for equal work, mm, not so much. Not sure you can count my vote for that one. So how about some more examples? And not just her, again, are there women who are against women's issues primarily? Absolutely. How about this, quote, but the GOP is already home to quite a few women who don't believe equal pay or equal rights for women are causes worth their time or political energy. Conservative activists... Phyllis Schlafly, I always fucking hate saying that name because it ridiculously rolls off the tongue. Uh, she opposes the Equal Rights Amendment and believes the best way to empower women is to improve pay for the men in their lives. She actually said that. We covered that story recently. Representative Marsha Blackburn, of course a Republican of Tennessee, says that women just don't want equal pay laws. Of course not, because she did a poll. Like, you know, uh, it's not like Gallup and Pew did polls that directly dispute what she's saying anecdotally. Oh, wait, that's right, they did. Uh, they continue, this is from HuffPost. When Senate Republicans blocked a vote earlier this month to debate the Paycheck Fairness Act, which would make employers more responsible for pay discrimination against women, Representative Lynn Jenkins, a Republican of Kansas, explained that the bill was actually condescending to women. Four female Republican senators, in fact, voted with their male party members to block an open debate on a law designed to make pay more equal in the U.S., all the while, women still make 74 cents for every dollar earned by a man in Michigan where Land is trying to win re-election. Now, to be clear, overall, in the country, women make 77 cents to a man's dollar. And then when you uh, put into place for the same work, the discrepancy gets less. So it's about 90 cents or 92 cents to a man's dollar. So... There is still a discrepancy. You know how the right pretends like, oh, no, that's a myth. No, 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 it's real. Women make 77 cents to a man's dollar. That's a fact. For the same work, it's about 90 or 92 cents to a man's dollar. So there's still a gap, which means there's still an issue to be addressed. And they don't want to address the fucking problem. And remember, the reason that we say there's a, a war on women from Republicans is because there's a war on women from Republicans. This is the party that filibustered, they filibustered the Paycheck Fairness Act multiple times. Okay, now, what did the Paycheck Fairness Act do? Well, it made it so that there, there are transparency laws associated with it. So what that means is, um, if you're working for a company and you're a woman in a position that a man has the same position, by law, you need to be able to know what they make so you can see if you're getting discriminated against. It also requires that the bosses explain to you why there is a discrepancy if there is a discrepancy. Okay, so it's a way of shining a light on the problem. Uh, they also, most of them voted against the Lilly Ledbetter Act. Do you remember that? That uh, made it so that the it lengthened the statute of limitations on pay disparity. See, what happened in Lily's case is that she was being discriminated against for years. She didn't know it, and then when she finally figured out, 
she lost in court because the judge said, oh, this was happening for years and you didn't bring it up back then. And her response was, I didn't know about it then. How was I supposed to bring it up? And the judge said, we don't care, too bad for you. So this law goes back and changes it so that it's from when you know it, the clock starts ticking, and then there's a statute of limitations that's put on it. So uh, it, things that are overwhelmingly helping women, and they voted against it, and they filibustered it. But we're not done yet. They also multiple times voted against the Violence Against Women Act, now, why did they do that? Because they didn't want it to expand to Native Americans and the LGBT community. I'm not kidding. Now, remember, the Violence Against Women Act, it has a lot of provisions in it that are just absolutely necessary for domestic violence purposes. For example, there's a domestic violence hotline that's part of that law, the funding for that. So they're blocking these things that are just, to vote against them? Like, something's wrong with you. I'm sorry, but something is wrong with you. Like, that is nothing except anti-woman. So, and then the last thing I'll say here is that my favorite part of the ad is how it's so representative of the modern-day Republican movement. I mean, the ad is, like, openly admitting, I'm not going to give you any facts. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to try to make a joke of the situation and play some funny music in the background, and then what, what happens? Well, the reason they did the ad like that is because it gets your idiot base riled up, because they could just fill in the blank with whatever nonsense they already believe, whatever their visceral opinions are, and they just go, oh, of course she's a woman, she's not against women, and that's why she's doing, not saying anything, you see? Got them, got the liberals. Except, again, she said nothing, and I just gave you all of the facts that demonstrate how indeed there is a war on women, and she's a part of it.